In this session I'll show you how to use the major pentatonic scale. Without too much theory, the major pentatonic scale uses notes 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6 from the major scale. So for example, if you know, let's say, the F major scale in one position, a lot of bass players do know this, that would be this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the octave there. Okay, now all we're going to do is use notes one, two, three, five, and six. One, two, three, five, six, and if we like, we can add the octave. Now that's playing a particular shape over three strings. What if we wanted to take that down an octave, however? We're bass players, so often we should play, um, you know, low notes, not really high all the time. Now, we can't play that same shape off F down in the lower position, so I'm going to show you a shape that is very easy to use and very practical to use for the major pentatonic scale. Starting on the low F here, first fret, all we do, play that note, move up two frets to the right on a right-handed bass and then play all remaining notes in that one octave in the same position. So that's taking it to the octave again. So one, two, three, five, six, octave. So see what I've done there? All I've, all I've done is I've played the root note then shifted up two frets and it's always two fret um, intervals between each of the positions or the notes not the notes technically but the but the positions visually speaking the visual intervals now the beauty of this shape it's a movable shape because you're moving once from the starting note to the second note the beauty of this um, shape is that because it's always those two fret um, uh, visual intervals that we see there you will be able to play it very easily in any key. So if I, for example, take it up a semitone to F sharp, take it to G. Okay, and another really, really great bonus is that most of the time, not all the time, but you see when I play the F, every single note I play is on one of the position markers on one of those dots. And on the F sharp, it was actually between the dots, and on the G, it was on the dots again. Have a look at your own bass and see what you can discover with this particular scale shape, the movable one octave F major pentatonic scale, and of course, any major pentatonic scale. Same thing goes for up here. If I played an octave higher, and playing that sort of shape will um, give me much more scope. I'm not locked into a position into a four fret position, it'll give me more scope to play fills and so on. So it's just much more practical that way, I find, most of the time, rather than playing the, the, the four fret shape based on the major scale. Okay, now let's have a look at where we can use the major pentatonic scale. It's a brighter sound than the minor pentatonic scale, which I've discussed in previous videos, and as the name implies, it can be used for major chords, so it's a more happy sound. It can be used on major triads, on major six chords, and so on. So styles and, and genres you can use it is, for example, in a lot of rock tunes, in pop tunes, certainly in country tunes, where there are major chords. So it creates a slightly a uh, sweeter sound, you know, a more melodic sound, matter of taste, of course, how you see that, but that's the major pentatonic. Now I'll show you how we can just use the, the scale. I'll start with a simple groove. I'm going to use a band in a box track, just using an F major chord as my um, backing, plus other sort of live instruments on there. And I'll start with a simple groove and just work my way through the F major pentatonic scale. Let's get this track up.
Okay, so you can see, very, very easy to use, just get a basic groove happening, of course, based on what you're hearing around you. In this case, I base it very much on the drum beats, you know, the simple tung, tung, tung beat, and then just use the pentatonic scale in various positions and um, played some basic grooves and played some fills. So there you go. F major pentatonic scale through one octave plus another octave. So essentially you've got it virtually through two octaves. And um, play around with that yourself. See what you come up with. Enjoy. Bye for now.